Hi, it's Mark for Ableton Daily. Chilling drones using FM synthesis with the operator instrument inside Ableton Live. Listen closely. This is a sound that we will be making today. Okay, the entire sound that you just heard was created using one operator instrument on one channel, an EQ for just a little bit of EQing on the low end, and of course a reverb on the very end of the channel there. I've also included some automation up here on the channel for operator and also a fade-in automation using the gain utility, which is right here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with creating the sound. All right, to begin, let's go ahead and get the operator instrument into live over on the browser inside the instruments folder. I'll click on operator. You can drag it into the timeline in the arrangement view, or you can create a new MIDI track by right-clicking here and then dragging the operator instrument into the plugins and instruments drop box. Next, we must arm the track so we can hear the sound. Go ahead and click right here and you should hear the sine wave. For this tutorial and for this sound, we will be using three oscillators. Let's go ahead and turn off oscillator D. We'll need to make sure that we have the correct FM synthesis algorithm selected for this sound. So right here where the algorithm icon is, go ahead and click on that and you'll have different algorithms to choose from at the top of the window here. Now currently I have the correct algorithm set for FM synthesis, but you may have another algorithm selected, perhaps maybe like an additive synthesis algorithm Go ahead and click on the first one here, which will allow oscillators to modulate other oscillators. And this is exactly what we want. So make sure to have the first one selected. And moving over to oscillator A. Everything still sounds the same. So to modulate oscillator A, what we need to do is turn up the level on another oscillator. So if I come over to B and increase the level, I'll hold down the key on the keyboard controller and I'll increase the sound and you'll hear it change. Now we're starting B is oscillating or modulating oscillator A. So this is just basic FM synthesis here. We'll also want to turn up the level on oscillator C. There's not a huge dramatic sound yet. That's just because all the oscillators are set to a sine wave. So let's go ahead and change that. Click on oscillator A. And we're going to keep this set to the sine wave. The sine wave being the waveform that we're going to set the oscillator to. Go ahead and click on B and set the waveform to saw 8, which is just right here. Over on C, set the waveform to a square 4, which is just off the screen here, down square 4. Should look something like this. And then you should really hear a change in the sound. Okay, we still have a lot of higher frequencies in the sound, 
But we want to dampen and cut off some of those higher frequencies just so we can darken the sound because this is going to be a pretty dark and chilling drone. So go ahead and turn on the filter right here. And you can leave it at the default setting, which is just a low 12 dB, which is just a low pass filter. And then cut off the frequency down to about halfway. And I'll turn up the volume here so you can hear the sound. The resonance, you can experiment with the resonance, but for this sound, let's go ahead and turn it down. You can just turn this all the way down here. All right, so it sounds pretty interesting right now. Let me go ahead and turn up the volume here. But it's really lacking any character and movement, and that's what we're going to work on next. But the real key here is to change oscillator A to a fixed frequency so it has no effect on pitch. And the way to do that is just to click on this box right here, and you'll definitely hear a difference now. Okay, let's adjust the levels of these oscillators to fit the original sound that I've created so you can get the exact same result. You can go ahead and copy the settings that I have. You can pause the video, do whatever you want there. I'll go ahead and change the level for B. And C. But for B, we're going to add a little bit more low end to the sound, so I will change the transposition course here and turn that down to a negative 0 0.5. Frequency. Adjusting the fixed frequency. This, this is where you're going to get that really sort of that chilling effect with your drone is automating the frequency knob. Okay, and I will play a chord here. It's pretty harsh right now. It's a very, you know, the sound is instant. So what we need to do is modify the envelope of these oscillators. So I'll quickly go through here real quick. Click on oscillator A, and then click on the envelope box right here, and increase the attack. You can move the second handle in the graphic here, or you can also increase the attack by clicking down here and moving the mouse to set its value. And now you can hear the sound slowly fade in. You hear that? As opposed to the sound instantly starting. Let's also use a release. The sound will continue to play and slowly fade out. Watch. But the sound changed a little bit. There was something interesting there. You can see that oscillator A held its note but we also need to change the envelopes on B and C. So click on B, set your attack close to the same as oscillator A, and increase the release for oscillator B. Click on B or click on C. Increase the attack, increase the sustain or the release for oscillator C and now play a chord. And we're a little hot there on the volume, so I'll go ahead and turn that down. Okay, so it's starting to sound a little bit more interesting there. I'm gonna go over to the browser here in the live devices, over to audio effects, and we're gonna insert a utility plugin right here next to operator. So just go ahead and drag it right next to that. And I'll show you what we'll be doing with this later on. Let's go ahead and insert a reverb next to this. And better yet, let me go ahead and undo that. 
and I wanted you to insert the EQ first. I like to add an EQ sometimes just in case we have some of those really low frequencies that will override the sound. And I can include that after operator creating a downward slope frequency cutoff, low end frequency cutoff there, just as a safety feature. And then next to the EQ, we can insert reverb. Now for the reverb, we'll need to set a low cut so we don't have any really harsh low frequency reverberations happening there. For quality, let's set this to high. For size 100, stereo 100, but you'll want to increase the decay time quite a bit. And for the dry and wet setting, at about three or four o'clock. And let's go ahead and listen to the sound. Okay, so big difference there. But we're still looking for that chilling little something with the sound to really polish it off. And that's when we start automating the fixed frequency for oscillator A. Go ahead and click on the frequency knob for oscillator A and when you do that you will see that this gives us our automation line here to work with. Something that we can change over time. But be before we do that let's record ourselves playing a chord on the controller. And so I've recorded two parts, just a, it's the same chord, one being a higher octave than the other, as you can see right here. So we can go ahead and play that back. Okay. And here's the trick. Let's click back on the frequency knob here for the fixed frequency. And then now we see that automation line that appears for us over the clip. You can double click on this line to create a little handle that you can adjust. And we're going to create this up and down automation. So the frequency the fixed frequency knob moves up and down really slowly and it's really going to give it a cool sound. Another thing you can do, the reason why we have the utility plugin here is that if I click on the gain knob, and just to show you a little quick tip here, after you select or you have the correct parameter selected here, you can add it just below it so I can add that let me go ahead and just scroll down here a little bit on this channel you can add it below and then i can click on another parameter and then click on the plus button here and add another lane so i can see the gain automation and also a, the fixed frequency automation on the same screen so how cool is that the gain meaning that we can adjust the volume on how it fades in. So if we really want it to fade in really slowly, we can create a slow gain change right here. I'm not sure how this automation is going to sound just yet. So I, I think I might just go ahead and play this back. There you have it. My name is Mark. This is Ableton Daily. Hey, if you like my videos, please subscribe, send me a comment. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.